The Ark of Evansville is a local non-for-profit here in Evansville, Indiana. Since 1954, the organization has provided opportunities for development, employment, and independence for individuals with disabilities. I am Alina McTeer with Bossy's EVSC Community Link, and today I'm with Deidre Connor, president of Ark of Evansville. Thank you for meeting with me today. Thank you for inviting me. Now, being that the Ark did open up in 1954, how has the community as well as the Ark progressed over time? So much has changed in 60 years. Um, the Ark was started in 1954 by families of children with disabilities. And prior to 1954, if a family had a baby with a disability, typically the physician, the family physician, would encourage the family to send the child to a state institution. And many, many families did that for for many years. But in the 1950s, things started to change and families kept their children with disabilities at home, but they had no place to send the children for education. The public schools did not serve children with disabilities in the 1950s or the 1960s. So these families created what was called at that time Evansville ARC or the Evansville Association for Retarded Children. Well, over time, as you know from your school at Bossy, children with disabilities are now served in the school system and they have been since the 1970s. So ARC has evolved as society has evolved to meet the needs of people with disabilities. So today children can go to school starting at the age of three and stay in school until they're 21 if they have a disability. ARC still works with children, but we work with children in an inclusive, state licensed, NACI accredited daycare facility. And it's inclusive, which means kids with and without disabilities are in the same classrooms, learning together, growing together, and going to kindergarten together in inclusive classrooms. And that's a huge, huge change. What's also really neat is that today we really emphasize achieving your full potential. That's what it's all about for the kids and the adults we serve. And it's not about coming to a building. It's not about sitting in a classroom with other people with disabilities. It's about getting engaged with the community. That may be volunteer work for some of our adults with disabilities. It may mean getting a job in the community like your friends and, and you have. It may mean having your own apartment, but you might need someone to help you make sure that you are able to manage your money, and you know, get access to groceries and have support so that you can live independently in an apartment. But it really is all about living as independently as possible. And so today that's really what our focus is, helping people live in our community like everyone else with the supports that they need. So how do you empower individuals to reach their fullest potential? We do that through a variety of programs. We serve children as young as six weeks of age, and our oldest client is in their 80s or 90s. So we provide a lifespan of services, but we do that through individual programs. For example, the Child Life Center is an inclusive program for children with and without disabilities. And what's really interesting is that children with disabilities who have developmental delays they learn a lot from their peers. They're typically developing peers. And the typically developing peers learn a lot about children with disabilities. They learn empathy, they learn acceptance, they learn diversity. And when these children leave ARC and go to kindergarten somewhere at the EVSC, the kids with special needs, many of them no longer need special education services. They've been able to catch up. Or they need fewer services than if they had not received some of the support from the Ark of Evansville. And the typically developing kids walk into classrooms and see people from all walks of life with different kinds of abilities, and they are very accepting and make friends with everyone that they interact with. We help students as they leave high school. We work with several of the EVSC high schools to help students with special needs prepare for their adult life. You know, a lot of us go to college when we graduate from high school or have a plan of where we're going to work, but that hasn't always been the case for people with disabilities. So we actually help them develop kind of a life plan while they're still in high school so that, that when they graduate or leave, they have a job to go to or they have a training program to participate in. So we help people kind of plan their life as they're leaving school. For adults, we have lots of different programs to help people get jobs in the community to build job skills, to get apartments, or find a place where they can live with roommates with some supports from people from the ARC and learn all kinds of life skills, things that we maybe take for granted, how to manage their money, how to learn to ride the bus, um, how to develop relationships 
and engage with the community, like doing volunteer work or participating in recreational activities or those kinds of things. So we really try to cover a broad span of an individual's life and the various aspects of what someone needs to really feel engaged and a part of the community. So what are some support that you give to families as well as parents with um, children or any type of family member with disabilities through the ARC? We provide a variety of services that really help support not only the individual with disabilities, but also the family unit. Families want to keep their children at home and be able to have a family unit that includes their child with a disability. But sometimes it's very difficult if the families do not have a place for their child to go during the daytime. It's very difficult then for the family to work and maintain a job. So basically the ARC has services available during the daytime for both children and adults with disabilities to attend that permits the family or gives them a little bit of peace of mind when they go to their day-to-day -day jobs. A lot of our families need some respite. You know, it's, it's very um, stressful at times to have 24-7 care for an individual with a disability. So we have respite services that we can provide. We have the ability to do referrals and direct families to other resources that might be helpful to them if they're having some challenges or their, their family members need some additional resources that we don't provide. Um, Part of our mission really is to help families continue to be able to stay together, have the supports they need so that both they and their loved one with a disability has a meaningful life. In recent years, in this past year, we actually developed a resource guide for new families, new moms and dads who may be leaving the hospital with a child with a disability or a developmental delay. And so a lot of times those families really struggled. They didn't know about the ARC and didn't know where to turn when they may have been having some concerns about their child's development. So the resource guide goes in the hands of every new parent and gives them some information right away that might be helpful for them if they are experiencing some concerns with their child. So in what ways does the Ark of Evansville give support to individuals in gaining their independence? We do a lot of different things, depending on each individual's needs. Everyone's different. Uh, for many people, it's getting a job in the community. You know, getting a job means getting a paycheck, which money leads to independence, but it also means making friends and making connections with people outside of your family. So we help people get jobs in the community. A lot of our clients love to volunteer. And so we have a specific program that helps individuals with disabilities go out and really kind of explore and find out what passion they have for a particular volunteer opportunity. And they have the opportunity then to get engaged with that nonprofit organization do volunteer work, again, meet people outside of their circle and develop friendships and relationships. Um, we do everything from training people on how to ride the bus, how to be better with money management, um, how to select a roommate when they're ready to go into an apartment and have a roommate and live more independently. So it's really kind of a, a, a lifespan of services, but based on what that particular individual may need assistance with. And there's nothing more exciting than seeing someone really become very independent, very engaged in the community. You know, somebody that has a job, they go to the Y and work out, they enjoy going to the movies with their friends, they've learned how to ride the bus, and they have a real sense of independence and accomplishment and support to achieve all that they could achieve and be independent in the community. Now, you spoke about the um, really big show that you do hold as an event to just bring awareness to the community. Now, could you elaborate more on that, please? The really big show is our signature event. It's a big deal to us, and for a lot of members of the community, they have grown to love the big show and will not miss a big show. It's hosted by Jeff Lyons, Chief Meteorologist at Channel 14, and we have a team of volunteers that write the script and recruit the talent, and we get local people people who aren't necessarily famous, but you might recognize them from somewhere else who get on stage and tap, tap dance or they play a horn or they, they, juggle, they juggle something or they're singing in a choir for their church. It's 
true talent, people who are truly talented, but you just never knew that they had talent. And it's a variety show based on the old Ed Sullivan format, which lots of people would remember from the 50s and 60s. It raises a significant amount of money for us, close to $100,000 each year. We get about 1,500 people in the seats to watch the show, which means 1,500 people are learning more about ARC, but also having a really fun time at the show. Our clients, some of our adult clients, have formed a band, and they perform in the show. And then every year, some of the kids from the Child Life Center do a dance and, and perform in the show, and that's always a lot of fun. But it's an awareness-raising tool for us, and also just a way to raise money and have fun and talk a little bit about the ARC, and that's been great for us. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. Thank you. From Bossy's Community Link, I'm Alina McTeer.